The uh, tangent line is a great way to manipulate manipulate the cue ball without using a lot of side spin. You're basically just hitting down the vertical axis. And the tangent line is basically what it is. It's a 90 degree line at the contact and aim spot. So if you draw an X through here, and when this ball is sliding, it'll naturally go down that 90 degree line. If it's following, it'll go down this way. And if the cue ball is drawing, it'll come up this way. And you can really manipulate it up here. So you can really control that cue ball without using side spin. You can use side spin, but um, this is a good to practice just hitting try with the vertical axis for now. So let's say that I have a ball right here, and it could be here, here, here. I'm going to make this ball, and I'm going to bring it down the tangent line. So the ball will be sliding when it hits the uh, object ball. Now if I put it this way, and I hit top, it should go this way. You can use like a peace sign for that. So, try that. Now if I um, hit draw on the cue ball, hit low on the vertical axis, it should draw up. The more draw and the more put into it, the more it'll draw up. So I'll try a couple more. I'll hit it down the uh, tangent line. Now I'll hit it just with some follow to that chop. And I'll draw it up the rail. Bring it low. There we go. So, something you can set up. Um, what really hap what happens a lot is people scratch a lot because they don't understand the tangent line. They're trying to hit the ball too hard or use side spin. So this is my tangent line here. And if I do make it slide, I'm going to go in the, in the corner. But instead, I'm just going to put like a, some draw on it, and I'm just going to avoid that corner pocket. So that is tangent line. Set up a ball here, move it here, get your three chocks, hit down the tangent line with follow and draw, and practice that. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like.